if you love eggs and if you love curries, you will definitely enjoy this dish. Hi, I'm Shermi and today I'm making masala omelette curry. Even though this dish sounds unique, it is very common in the eastern parts of India. Soft and fluffy omelette is cooked in a rich and spicy gravy, creating a burst of flavors with every bite. This recipe is also quite easy and can be prepared with your regular pantry ingredients. Before we get started, please subscribe to the channel and also press the notification icon. It doesn't cost you anything, but it will really help me out. Now let's get started. Let's make the omelette first. I'm using six eggs, half an onion, half a tomato, one teaspoon of freshly grated black pepper, one green chili, fresh coriander, and salt to taste. First, I'm going to finely dice the onions. Onions need to be very fine for the omelette. My onions are done. Now let's chop the tomato. It's the same thing, I'm going to dice them really fine. I'm also going to finely chop the chili, but this is completely optional. If you don't want the heat in your omelette, you can just skip it. And the coriander also. Try to chop them really fine. My prayer pork is done. Now let's make the omelette. I will show you two ways to make the omelette. You can take all the eggs, make a big omelette and cut them into slices. Or you can make individual omelettes. You can use two eggs per person. First, I will make a large omelette. For the large omelette, I'm using four eggs. Crack them in a bowl. Add chopped onions tomato, fresh coriander, green chilies, freshly grated black pepper, and little bit of salt. So you need to remember that in the curry also we are going to add salt. So it will be too salty if you add too much salt on the omelet. Now I'm going to whisk them and I will whisk them till they are double in size. So that is the key to make a very fluffy omelet. You need to whisk them properly. My omelette mixture is now double in size. It's fluffy and frothy. It's ready to cook. Now let's make the omelette. Heat up the pan. I prefer using a non-stick pan. Keep the heat on medium to low. Once the pan is hot, add some oil. Spread them nicely. Give a mix. Then add the egg mixture to the pan. Let it cook for some time. If you want, you can also cover the pan. This will help it cook faster. So you can see the omelette had formed nicely in the bottom and the top layer is still liquidy. So I will fold the omelette now. So be very gentle. I want to keep the upper layer liquidy so that it stick to each other. This will help maintain the shape in the gravy and our omelette will not be overcooked. It will be a little hard to fold the omelette because it has become really fluffy. Yeah, but this is what we want. My omelette is ready. Cut the omelette into pieces for the curry. Just look at the layer, it's so fluffy. Now I will show you other way to make the omelette. I'm using two eggs which will be the individual portion. Add the onion, tomato, green chili, coriander salt and black pepper. Now let's whisk them again till they are fluffy. This is done. It's quite fluffy. So now let's make the omelette. For the second method, we will use a smaller pan. This is my tarka pan, but you can use any smaller pan. This will give me a rounder individual omelette. Let's heat this up. Add some oil once the pan is hot and coat the pan with the oil. Oil is hot. Now let's add the omelette mixture. So in this, we will rotate so that every layer get cooked up properly. Let it cook for a minute. Leave it on low heat till it's cooked through. Once the bottom has browned a little bit, flip the omelette. Cook for another 30 seconds and our omelette will be ready. This is our round and floppy omelette. 
Our omelettes are ready. Even though I have showed you two different ways of cooking omelette, you can cook your omelette any way you like. It really does not matter. You can add any ingredient of your choice in your omelette or you can keep it very simple, just salt and pepper. The most important thing is to whisk it properly. Now let's make the curry. This is what we need for the curry. One large onion, I will chop them fine. Three cloves of garlic, I will slice them thinly. I'm using extra garlic because the garlic give a really nice flavor in the egg curry. One tablespoon of ginger garlic paste, half teaspoon of turmeric, one teaspoon of Kashmiri red chili powder, one teaspoon of coriander powder, one four teaspoon of garam masala, two green chilies. Adjust the chilies according to your preference. One cup of tomato puree. I'm using canned tomatoes. You can also use fresh tomatoes or tomato puree. If you're using fresh tomatoes, I will suggest you to puree them. And a bunch of fresh coriander. Finally chop the coriander also. This will go in the curry as well as garnishing. Now let's make the egg curry. Heat up the pan. Keep the heat on medium. Once the pan is hot, add around two tablespoons of oil. I will add the garlic now because if the oil is too hot, it will burn the garlic. And with that, I will add the green chilies. Fry the garlic for 30 seconds along with the chilies. Make sure not to burn them. Now I will add the onions. Give it a good mix and fry the onion till they are translucent and soft. I'm using white onions but you can use any onion of your choice or even shallots. I will add a pinch of salt to cook it faster. Here we are not browning the onions too much, we are just softening the onions. If the onions are getting brown faster, reduce the heat to low. My onions are ready, now I will add the ginger garlic paste. Fry them till the raw aroma of the garlic disappears. Make sure the heat is at low before you add the spices. Turmeric, cumin powder and Kashmiri chili powder. Fry them for a few seconds. Now add the tomato puree. Scrape up the pan, this tomato puree is liquidy and it will deglaze the pan. Now you can increase the heat to medium. Cook till the liquid evaporates and oil starts separating. Now I will add the fresh coriander. I will leave little bit for the garnishing and I will add rest of them. This will give really nice freshness to the gravy. If you prefer, you can also use parsley. Add salt. You can see the oil is separating. Masala is frying really nicely. Now I will add two cups of hot water. You need this much liquid in your gravy so that your omelets can soak nicely. If you want more gravy, you can add more water. Give a good mix and let it boil. It will really develop those flavors before adding the omelets. I like to add a pinch of sugar, but it's completely optional. My gravy is boiling, now I will add the omelette. Let it cook for one minute. Check for seasoning and adjust if needed. It's perfect. After one minute, turn the omelette pieces. Cover and cook for another three minutes. It's been three minutes. Our omelette has absorbed all the gravy and it has fluffed up. Now we will add the garam masala. Make sure to reduce the heat to low. Cook for another 30 seconds and switch off the heat. Garnish with some coriander. Our masala omelette curry is ready. Look at those omelettes. They have soaked up all the gravy and they have fluffed up even more. It's looking delicious. Serve with some rice, bread or roti. Omelette curry is ready. It's looking juicy and delicious. So let's give it a try. Just look at it. It has soaked up all the juices from the gravy. It's so yummy. 
omelette has soaked up all the juices and is fluffy spongy and it's going so well with the rice and you can feel the juices bursting out with each bite the gravy is savory rich and slightly spicy this will go really well with bread roti or on its own you can have it for breakfast lunch or dinner and it's quite easy to make especially if you don't have much ingredients to cook at home or if you're running out of ideas you just need eggs and your regular pantry ingredients give this dish a try and if you have any questions let me know in the comments below please like share and subscribe and see you in the next video